So what's up guys, welcome to Rainer Tech here. So today we are going to upgrade the RAM for LN15R7. I hope you enjoy the video. So this is crucial 64 GB RAM. I want to go and install it in LNware. M15R7. It has that 2 GB but I bought this because of my research mainly. Yeah, so 64 GB kit. I will install it probably maybe today. It's from Crucial. Sorry for the focus. <coughs> yeah, it's Crucial. That is it. Crucial. Yes, so yeah, the prices have gone down a bit. So yeah, I will install it if possible. I'll show how to install it or where to put it. Possibly today or tomorrow. Yeah, but you'll not get this video today, of course. So here we have a total of eight screws, front ones, the middle ones, and the rear ones. So four screws can get completely out, and the other four cannot be completely removed. Yeah, now we go to the internals. So we have our battery there. So we have our SSD there. We also have our RAM. There is our RAM stick where we are going to put our RAM. One of them is upside down. So you have to check that. So that is our RAM, our 16 GB each, and that is our battery, that is our SSD slot, and I believe you can see the Alienware logo. So you must make sure that you unplug the battery before putting any RAM, and press the power button for 60 seconds so that you discharge the motherboard. Make sure you do that. So, and now as you can see, I want now to unplug the RAMs. So I have already unplugged the RAM sticks by pressing the two metallic parts. So as you will see here. So now that's how I'm going to put it back. As you can see, my friend has assisted me. Now you put it and you push, you just push down until you hear a click, tuck, like that. Now for the second one, now that is how you do it. So you must make sure that it's up, facing up. So you just pull them apart like that and the RAM will pop up and now you put the second one upside down the opposite side of the other one so as you can see yes as you can see press gently gently tuck like that yes and then you put in your battery back on and then you lock your power cable just put push everything gently so that we avoid spoiling any internal parts yeah another thing that you should know is that some of the screws on the board the screws they don't get out they are put there to stay so yes those those two those ones they don't get out so they are the center screws and they don't they are longer so the ones that get out are all equal sized so you have to make sure that you remember that but the ones that remain there don't force them out yeah so the laptop will take a bit of time it took a bit of time before loading the new RAM it will take some time before Yeah, so you just put it gently and then you lock it, you lock in place. So you start with the most front part and then the part close to me is the last one. Yeah, now you lock in place. So now we put the power button on. If you see the RGB keys, RGB lighting on your keyboard, everything is okay. No need to worry. Now you have to give your laptop some time. So as you can see, I was so happy to see that. So give your laptop some time to load the new RAM. So after about 5-10 minutes, you'll get this, which is normal. So you need, you'll get this 
time something so just press continue and wait now again but not for a very long time you'll see the Alienware logo and that is it yeah, so that's how you install a new RAM that is how you install new RAM on your PC yeah so let us see the storage that's my family there yeah, as you can see 64 GB 63.7 GB of RAM. Yeah, that's how you do it So if you are here that means you like the video so please consider subscribing leave a thumbs up Share if you have more questions ask in the comment section